So let's circle back. Were you aware of the fact that the Hillary Clinton campaign actually paid for the Steele dossier, which unleashed one of the worst issues of intelligence malfeasance that our nation has ever seen? No, sir, I answered this six months ago, and this is the same answer today, no. You weren't aware of what was going on? Mr. Ginsburg, I find that very interesting because, you know, if I listen to some of the people and the staff that have left the SEC, you're very aware of everything that is going on. It's actually your MO. You're very hands-on, so you're going to tell the committee right now you had no idea that the Hillary Clinton campaign, of which you were the CFO on, sent money to Perkins Coie for a dossier that was phony that led to the spying on of a presidential campaign in 2016. You were not aware of any of this. Sir, as a chief financial officer in a political campaign, I was not aware of what a law firm was doing with some of the money that they got. Now, I find that interesting because in some of your other rhetoric about CFOs in, in, the, in, the, in the public sector, the private sector of our economy, you are very tough on CFOs. You have, you've said on the record on many occasions that CFOs have a fiduciary responsibility to the organizations that they cover, that they should be aware of everything that is going on. So how is that a standard you hold CFOs in the private sector to, but you don't hold yourself to that same standard? That's not a standard that the SEC holds CFOs to. It's about their financials and the, that the financials are uh, put together in accordance with GAAP and that the numbers are accurate. Uh, and that they're so did you accurately pay for the Steele dossier out of the Hillary Clinton campaign? Sir, I learned about that after, way after President Trump was a president and Hillary Clinton was a private citizen. All right, well, let's move on. We'll probably circle on that another time. I want to reference a story in Capital Account from June 13. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I ask for unanimous consent for the story to be entered into the record. Without objection. The story notes that you met with Senator Tammy Baldwin in May about the SEC's proposal related to the 13D beneficial ownership disclosure, at which time you allegedly asked Senator Baldwin's staff, allegedly, let me say allegedly, to contact an organization called We the Investors so to submit comment letters in favor of the 13D proposal. Subsequently, the SEC was flooded with 350 plus comment letters from so-called individuals, but mostly form letters stamped with the moniker, we the investors, in favor of their proposal. It appears to me that you have engaged in astroturfing to advance your own agenda. Is this true? If this is true, is this a serious breach of impartiality that would violate the spirit, if not the letter of the law of the APA? Sure, again, I don't know what the press is talking about. I remember a meeting with the senator. It was a good thought. Did you meet with Senator Baldwin in May with respect to 13D? I, I think that it's on my public calendar that I met with Senator Baldwin. I meet with senators and representatives. Okay, so here's what we need. I need to get from your public calendar if you actually met with Senator Baldwin. I think the committee would like to know that. In this meeting with Senator Baldwin's did. staff, did you speak to an, an organization called We the Investors? I have no memory of that. Miss, Mr. Kensler, the no memory routine from a lot of appointees is really getting old. You guys are discussing and leading some of the various regulations facing our economy. So to come before a committee of Congress and have no idea what you talked to with a senator staff about 13D? The meeting was with the senator, sir. All right, well then, if you don't remember, if you don't recall what you said to a United States senator about key issues facing our sure. economy no, from a I regulatory would. basis? Please, sir. That's a real problem, Here's don't you think? Question. When Byron Steele asked him, uh, the secretary chair, if he was aware that the Hillary Clinton campaign was the one that paid for the Steele dossier, and the secretary chair says, um, I was not aware. And Byron's like, what do you mean you're not aware? Um, he goes into telling him that your reputation, your MO, is all about knowing everything that's going on in your department. So Byron's not accepting his answer, but the guy is, is sticking to it and saying, I answered this six months ago and my answer hasn't changed. I was not aware. All right, so Byron's like, all right, let's just move on. So then he asked him about Tammy Baldwin says it, it's reported that you met with Tammy Baldwin and uh, to talk about the SEC's um, proposal related to the 13B. Um, and it's 
uh, it says that you allegedly told her staff to contact a company called We The People, oh, I'm sorry, We The Investors, and ask them to set, send supporting letters um, in support of the 13B proposal. Did you do that? And he's like, I, I don't remember my conversation. And, and Byron's like, he just sits back and just is like, you know, this is not acceptable. People can't just come here and be uh, testifying and just sit on an answer that's, uh, I have no memory. Like that, American people know or can see through that. And, um, and it's frustrating when we're trying to, when they're trying to get answers on uh, what really took place.